Hi, Mamie here. I'm back with another card today. Uh, we're going to do a Christmas card with the Avery L. <clears throat> Penguin stamp set called Penguin Greetings. It's really cute. It has a lot of little Christmas penguins and a uh, snow theme. Um, and it has dies that come with it as well. It was a really affordable stamp set along with the dies. So I was really excited about that. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a scene, and I'm going to use the Inka Dinka Doo um, paper to make a mask for the snow hill. I'm just going to cut it out, and we're going to use some distress ink to create our little scene here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out trying to remember what ink it was. I think it's tumbled glass is the one I think this is. Obviously I'm doing a voiceover and I don't have the ink with me right now. So I'm pretty sure it's tumbled glass. But anyway, so we're just going to start on the mask and kind of kind of spread the ink from the mask up that way it doesn't have like a very definite line there I'm just going to keep working it so that I don't have any um, marks I think that looks really good. And now I think I use the darker one, Salty Ocean, just to darken it up a bit at the bottom. And I'm pretty sure that I'm using watercolor paper. <clears throat> but you don't have to use watercolor paper. You can use regular paper paper as well. Um, I filmed this a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't had a chance with all the holidays and all kinds of stuff going on, and we're moving to a new house, and so it's just been crazy, and I haven't been able to um, edit my videos as much as I wanted to. So, But I really wanted to get this one done before winter was over. <laughs> So now we're just taking off our mask and we have a cute little snow hill and background. I'm going to set that aside to dry for a little bit. And I'm using um, Express It Blending Paper Stamping in Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to color. Isn't that penguin so cute? Oh my gosh. I really love this stamp set.
and I will link to the stamp set in the description area below. And then there's the mama and the baby. And then another little sweet penguin. And then one with a cute little jacket. And then those are little piles of snowballs. So I'm using my red Copic markers, R14, R17, and R12. And this is a set of um, markers that comes in a set of three. I uh, got this from Hobby Lobby, and I think it's a really good deal. It's cheaper than getting individual markers, and it comes with a, you know, a blending pack. So they uh, go together very well. And I want to say that it was $19.99, and then I used my 40% off coupon. So it was like eleven fifty maybe for the three markers. So that would make them like, I don't know, three seventy five a piece maybe. Nine, ten, eleven around. And uh, that's a really good deal. So anyway, if I've got several of those little the sets of three in blue and green, they have all different colors um, that you can get because I usually use Spectrum Noir, but um, I wanted to try out Copics and see uh, if I liked them. And they're pretty good. Uh, you know, I got really good at using my Spectrum, so now it's kind of like, uh, do I even want to invest in, in the Copics? And, but I don't know, I just, I don't know. I've, <laughs> they're, they're all great and they're all fun. So yes, I could, I'd love to have all of them. But uh, you could use any kind of medium for, for shading and everything. So I'm just using my Copics today. And now I'm using um, IG2, and that is a light, cool gray. I'm just using that to kind of de define the white parts of the penguin, give it some more dimension. And obviously these are so easy to color because um, they're pretty much just white and black. <laughs> so this is a really great card to make um, in bulk. So because it doesn't take a lot of coloring. So it's a really great option for Christmas card, uh, holiday greeting cards and things of that nature. So I'm really pleased with this stamp set. Now I'm just taking my orange Copic marker. I think it's like, I only have two oranges and this is one of them. And we're almost done. Color the little hat. And this is one of my purple Copics from the V family. 
think it's VO2 and VO4. Those also came in a pack, but it was a pack of a bunch of different colors. It was green, purple, and orange, and I had two of each, and uh, I got that at Hobby Lobby, obviously, with my um, coupon. And then this is the blue family that I got in the pack of three. And they all work really well, as you can see. So if you're wanting to try out some Copics, but you don't want to, you don't know which ones to get, I would definitely recommend getting the um, packs of three to start because you can get them in almost every color family. And I think Hobby Lobby is online now. I haven't checked it out yet, but I wanted to say they're now online as well. Now I'm going with my green marker. Now it's time to die cut the images. So now we have them all ready to go through the cuddle bug. And now all we really need to do is put our card together. I'm trying to figure out the placement here. I wanted to have the little boy throwing the snowball the snowball at the dad and not the mom. <laughs> I think that placement is good, so I'm just going to use my multi-medium mat. To put everything together.
Okay, and we've got everybody on there looking festive. Now we're just going to put in some details. And our sentiment. So that comes with a little snowball. And it comes with like a little swoosh. So there we go, so cute. And now I'm just taking my white gel pen to fill in the snowball. It looks like dad is fixing to get clobbered. So yeah, I can t uh, now that I see using I'm using that brush that this is watercolor paper, and I use the Strathmore watercolor paper, um, the 400 series, really really great watercolor paper. I have gone through so many different styles and types of watercolor paper, and this is by far my favorite. Um, I know a lot of people use the um, the Tim Holtz watercolor paper, and I use that as well. Um, but this is just better. Especially, I find, for the distressing, distress inking. So now I've cut out the sides a little bit. And I'm going to take the greeting that says warm. I'm going to stamp that first in barn door distress ink and it says warm and then the other sentiment says holiday wishes so I'll do the warm in the red and then the holiday wishes in the black excuse my head And then that's a palette hybrid ink, which is really great stuff, uh, works really well. And I made this card a couple of times, and but here the first time I put the holiday wishes right under it, right under the word warm, but on the rest of them I kind of put it off to the side a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better, but anyway, it still turned out cute. So now I'm just going to place it on an A2 size card, top folding. I'm using a light gray cardstock. These are just cardstocks from Michaels. Um, I think they're recollections. And since I'm using watercolor paper, I like to make sure I have lots of adhesive down. And so there it is. I'm 
just going to use my um, jelly roll pen that has like sparkle in it. It's kind of like Wink of Stella, except it's a little bit more concentrated, like a lot, it's got a lot more glitter. Um, but it's really cute. I usually, I use both of them, but since this has a fine tip, it's easier to get in the little details. And there's the Wink of Stella, of course. Have to add a little bit of that. Just to add some little flurries and things like that in the snow. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I have uh, several other cards. And I have several more that I'm going to be publishing in the next couple of weeks that I've already done. I just need to edit. And I've got another one I'm doing tomorrow. So I've got a lot coming up. So thank you for watching.